Robinhood's biggest backers and investors, and it's interesting to note it is the backers, have poured billions into the online broker in recent days at an unprecedented pace. Uh, the latest round of funding led by Ribbit Capital, including a team of others, including well-known Sequoia Capital. They have invested this group combined $3.4 billion in just the past few days, and that includes the $2.4 billion announced Monday. Reuters uh, is reporting that uh, Robinhood also speaking to banks to uh, get an additional $1 billion in debt that it would use to back uh, these heavily shorted stocks, which it needs to post collateral uh, with the big dog depository that oversees all of this. Of course, all of these short positions set out a lot of uh, tripwires that put in intense focus on Robinhood, which has been favored by millennials and really let off the whole uh, round of fee-based or free-based, uh, no fee involved trading uh, that has allowed a lot of day traders and amateur traders, as they're being called, to get into the market. Uh, this huge run-up uh, in the GME stock uh, did drive a lot of shorts out. Uh, the initial round or by the army of Reddit traders, very successful in forcing huge amounts of losses on the hedge funds and uh, Short sellers, short sellers in GME are uh, said to take a combined total of $20 billion in losses, much larger losses given the whole host of stocks that were targeted. And we are seeing those short positions eased and many hedge funds uh, eliminating their shorts so they are not a target of this army.